everybody, this is Dr. Joe Borio with Kyra Passion Consulting and this week's Thought Flash, November 4th and 5th, my office, Billy DeMoss. We are going to go over philosophy, science, art of what it is you do every single day in your office. I'd love to have you there, guys. Listen, for $100, you get to spend the weekend with me and Dr. Billy, along with other mentors, and discuss what it is we do and why we do it and why we should be so exciting and why today and every day forward is getting more and more exciting to be a chiropractor. I just spent a weekend here up in my uh, my third floor, D.D. Dee Dee Palmer, B.J. Palmer, uh, uh, what, attic, fun space, chiropractic, chiropractic, civilization space, and I'll tell you, I spent it with the, the Knights. I'm a member of the Knights of the Round Table, um, some, of the, some of the best chiropractors on the planet, and we masterminded all weekend, and we mentored all weekend. We spent a lot of time this weekend. I'll tell you, I'm really excited to see what's cutting edge, what's happening in our profession, and why should we, we should be more excited every single day to be chiropractors. So think about that. Um, we're also going to be in my office, as I said. It's in Syracuse. You fly into Syracuse. There's a Holiday Inn Express right next to, uh, right near my office. It's a five minute, seven minute drive. There's a shuttle that'll take you right to my practice. We're gonna spend Friday night from five to nine. We're gonna spend Saturday, eight to six, all day talking about nothing else but chiropractic. My practice at its highest level, I saw 600 people. I adjusted over 600 people a day. I saw almost 1,800 people a week. Why do I tell you that? Not to say it's a big shot to tell you that, listen, I know how to run a practice. I know how to educate people. I know how to run staff. I know how to bring new people in. I know how to keep people when they come in. I know how to talk about what it is we do. I, need, I, I love to show people, and when I say people, not just chiropractors, people off the street, why they need to be under chiropractic care. It's not do you go to a chiropractor, it's who's your chiropractor. That should be the question that's got to be our mindset and we got to understand in clarity that our mission, our job, is to spend our time, what? Working with people to show them why they need lifetime family wellness. We need to show people that when they're under care, them and their family are healthier, they're going to live longer with a better quality of life, a better interaction with reality, their brain, their perception is going to be better, their thinking is going to be better. They're less likely to develop disease under care than they are without care. Bottom line, end of story. Leave the rest of it alone. That's what your mission is. If we can get 60,000 chiropractors on this planet on that page, we will take over healthcare. We will change the globe. We will change the world and its health. We will cut medications down by over 90%. We'll cut surgeries down, hospitalizations down. Not that our goal is anti-medicine, it's pro-wellness. It's not anti-medicine. As a result of what it is we do, at the very best, all of us, every day, at playing at that level, that the paradigm of medicine will crumble. It'll fall apart. It's the wrong paradigm. The MD is not the bad person. Even the drug company, they're just people stuck in a paradigm and we're stuck in a capitalistic system and those people are thinking, hey look at how can we make more money, how can we get more people to use our product. When in reality, what we need are 60,000 soldiers of chiropractors on this planet doing the best job they can at removing neurologic interference, allowing the nerve flow, the mental message, the singles, parasympathetic, sympathetics. I don't care what the hell you call it, your bottom line is get the body to connect to the brain, in the words of Fred Barge, get the body to comprehend itself. And as, as you do that, the body works better, the quality of their life is better. Another couple of things to talk about. September 18th, 1895, Founders Day. For those of you that missed it, I'm sorry to hear about it. But listen, it's not too late to do a little something fun in your office. Founders Day, that means D.D. Palmer, after becoming a magnetic healer, after applying five principles before he ever adjusted Harvey Lillard, our, our profession was built on science. Our profession was scientific in that it had deductive, inductive reasoning and the idea that there was neurology that ran the body, that there were fibers that connected brain to tissue, that when those fibers are pressed on, the mental messages, the quantity and the quality decrease. Those are words of Didi pre-September 18, 1895. He knew exactly what he was doing 
when he adjusted Harvey Lillard. And that meant that he tried to reduce a bump in his spine that caused mechanical blockage. Hey, he had normal hearing before, he adjusted them, or he had a trauma, he subluxated his spine, he gets adjusted, it reduces the bump, body starts to work better. And from that, he looks through the eyes of quantum physics, quantum mechanics, and he says, hey, look at how can, why does that get better? Why did this get better? Why did that get better? How does the body work better this way? How does it work better this way? Where did we come from? How is it that we're even functioning? How is it that we're healthy? That's what Dee Dee Palmer did. And from that standpoint, he changed the world. You are here today because of what happened in 1895. You can judge him on the reality that he may have made some mistakes, 100%. BJ wasn't perfect either, but I'm telling you what, those guys were brilliant, they were geniuses, they were Albert Einstein and then some. That's how brilliant they were, and that's how proud and excited you should be about being a chiropractor. Um, November 4th and 5th, I want to see you at, your office, at my office. Why do I say that? Guys, listen, I'm trying to build a movement here. It's called Chiro Passion Consulting. I want you to be excited. People say, well, you're so passionate about chiropractic. Why wouldn't you be passionate about chiropractic? Why should I be the unique individual that's doing something different than the rest of you guys? You guys should all be excited about going to work every day. All of you should be excited about adjusting people every single day. It should change the world. Your job in the morning should be to make the world a little bit better than it was, uh, a little bit better by the end of the day than it was in the morning. That should be your job. Plant trees that you have no intention on sitting under. I had such a great weekend mentoring and masterminding with some of the best in this profession. I had an exciting uh, time spending time with them, having dinner with them, uh, enjoying, enjoying meals with them, and, uh, and talking about our own personal struggles as well as, as uh, our, our uh, personal successes. I really enjoyed it. I grew stronger from it. I want you to share in that same type of success, guys. Join us November 4th and 5th at my office and get ready to change the world. May urinate always flow with 100% expression from the brain to the body tissue. Enjoy your life. Enjoy serving people next week. I'll see you at my office. Rock on! Best friend gave me the best advice. He said each day